my name is Dr. Kendall Lee. I'm a neurosurgeon and the director of neuroengineering laboratories here at the Mayo Clinic. I'm Dr. Paula Testini. I'm a research fellow here at Mayo Clinic in the Department of Neurosurgery. And uh, I'm a co author on the manuscript entitled uh, Central Median Parafascicular Complex Deep Brain Simulation for Tourette Syndrome, which will be appearing in the February 2016 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. We're very excited to be presenting this data and for this paper to be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings because this represents the work that's been done here at the Mayo Clinic using deep brain stimulation technology to help patients with Tourette syndrome. The findings are from 11 consecutive patients that demonstrate that deep brain stimulation is indeed effective for Tourette syndrome. So Tourette syndrome uh, is a condition that is characterized by tics and psychiatric comorbidities and it can significantly impair the life of affected patients. And now deep brain stimulation is a possible option for those patients that are affected by severe Tourette syndrome which does not respond to conservative treatments. However, this is still um, an investigational option for uh, patients with Tourette. Uh, so reports of clinical outcomes are very important to assess the validity of this treatment. Our study was conducted under our Mayo Clinic's IRB. We evaluated the improvements in a score widely used to assess the severity of Tourette syndrome, the Yale Global Tick Severity Scale, uh, recorded at follow-up and preoperatively, and we observed in our patients good improvement in the average tick scores, especially in those patients followed for one year or longer. And based on our results and on the available findings in the literature, which include uh, small clinical trials, uh, we support this treatment option in selected patients with severe treatment-resistant Tourette syndrome. In this study, our finding was that deep brain stimulation was indeed effective in treating Tourette syndrome. However, it is very important to note that this is a still preliminary study and that deep brain stimulation is not yet FDA approved uh, for Tourette syndrome. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.